Hello and welcome to Dream Infinity Studios tutorial um, on the Spiral Tool. Um, now the Spiral Tool is actually a tool that not many people are aware of. Um, because One of the reasons is because it's hidden kind of in the Line Segment Tool. Um, the Line Segment Tool is basically a tool that lets you create lines. Well, the Spiral Tool is hidden under that. So the Spiral Tool um, technique was actually used in one of my wallpapers and uh, that's my Excuse the YouTube page there. Okay, here we go. Uh, it was used on, in Stridents. Um, these little spirals right here. These were all created in Illustrator, not so much on 3D programs. Um, it's amazing that I always say 3D programs with Stridents because I get a lot of inquiries about how I did these um, waves um, in a 3D program. Well, I didn't really use a 3D program. I used Illustrator, and you know, I always have to tell them. And you, you, you can you can kind of see the technique of how I did that uh, in my transform again tutorial if you haven't seen it. But anyway, the spiral tool. Well, the spiral tool kind of works basically create the spiral for you. Um, the cool part is you can actually once you select that tool, you can hit and you can hit the left mouse button and you can actually control how many segments there are. So if we say like fifteen hundred, oh we can't do fifteen hundred. You know, shows how much I use this tool, which is next to no, um, never. It kind of creates this really um, super spiral. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, we're not going to do that. Um, we're actually going to create a 10 segment spiral with a radius of 3. And hit OK. There we go. Now, um, one um, thing that we want to do is if you don't have the, the stroke. Thing filled, it's going to look like that. So make sure the stroke is filled and not the fill. And in terms of the stroke, um, wait, let's work with one point. We could ch you could change that to two if you want, but let's work with one point for now, which is right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what we want to do is copy and then control F. Control F is basically a shortcut to paste in front. So we want to paste that in front, or a really simple way is we could just drag it. Um, oops, we can just click it and hold Alt and drag it, just like that. Now we want to rotate a little bit, no, not that much. I mean, we didn't really want to even drag it that much. Okay, we want to move it just like that, kind of. So it kind of barely isn't far off in the distance. Rotate it just a little bit, kind of like that. You see. Again, one more time. Rotate just a little bit. Now we're going to get the two segments and con uh, connect it together. The most important thing with this is how to join it together and which will be the end points. If we zoom all the way to the center of the spiral, we see that there are two open points. Now we want to get the white arrow tool or the you know direct arrow tool, direct selection tool. And we just want to select the two points like this, and then press Control J for join. Um, or it, basically, what it is is it's under Object Path Join. Oops. Select it. Object Path Join. There we go. Now we already kind of join that together. Now we want to create. We want to join the open at uh, the the very end of the spiral. There we go. Now this is one whole shaped together and then uh, all we have to do is click it and then fill it there we go and we kind of created a cool spiral now we could change this uh, size um, to whatever we want now let's kind of apply it so I'm gonna get the pen tool and kind of create just a really fast wave looking thing and kind of move these two together. Now I'm going to do the same technique here. Get the um, open ends, join them. Again here. And then we're just going to, let's flip this actually. Use a reflect tool.
And then here we go. Maybe it doesn't look as great as how some other people do it. And again, I don't really do this all the time, but it kind of shows you I know how to make a sparrow at least. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. We have it. Kind of play with scale. There we go. And we created a simple little viney illustration come less than five minutes. So again, the spiral tool, very useful, and uh, thank you for watching.